like my crafty loving friends welcome to repurpose my way i'm shelly today i have a goodwill haul for you i scored really big at goodwill uh, some of it needs to be painted some of it doesn't and i'm going to show you what i got and maybe show you a couple things that i'm going to flip paint up and put in my booth so let's get started so the first thing i have i'm just going to grab and go so the first thing i have is this really cute kitchen primitive kitchen sign it was two dollars at goodwill and it's got a little bit of um wear and tear here and there which is okay but i think what i'm going to do is just take some antique wax and go over this and darken up the raw wood that's coming through and just a light just a light touch of it and use it as a stain and just kind of hit it a little bit and i think it'll give it a nice look The next thing I have here is this wedding sign. This was $2 as well. It's got a nice little picture stand on the back of it. I'm thinking that I'm going to sand this down or paint over it. It's not raised, so I could just paint over it, I think, and then put some kind of a picture on there, and it would make a nice Christmas sign that you could put on your counter or just in a vignette display or something like that. So I thought for $2, it would make a really cute little sign. I did a base coat of black and then I did a lighter color over the top of that once it was dry. And now I'm taking a just a piece of saran wrap and bun, I just balled it up and added some black so that I could add some distressing underneath my uh, decoupage paper. Once that goes down, it's going to be a little bit see-through. So you're going to be able to see that distressing. Then I added Mod Podge and stuck down my uh, paper which I got at Zazzle, so I will uh, link that down below. Added Mod Podge over the top of that to seal it in, and then once it was all dry, I sanded down the edges that were sticking out over the edge. I added some greenery, some red berries, and a little red bow to make this little Christmas sign just pop. The other thing I got was this candle holder. Um, it's it's heavy, so I know it's partially made of metal of some sort. That's the bottom. This is the top. It was four dollars, and I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you. I'm going to take a plate and a cloche that I've had um, kicking around, and I'm going to marry the two together. And I put my little curl in there so you could see it a little bit better, but. I think that's what I'm going to do with it. I put cloches in my booth and they sell really well. So I'm just going to give the plate and the candle holder a paint job so it all matches together and probably distress back some of this mustard color because I, I do like mustard, but maybe not that much mustard. So I'm going to do that and we're going to see what it looks like. I added some E6000 and some hot glue to the top of the candlestick and placed that on the bottom of the plate and then flipped it over and it's ready to style. Next thing I have is this rolling pin. This was $2 at Goodwill. It's a nice small size. It looks fairly clean. I think I'm just going to just clean it up a little bit, maybe hit it with a little bit of some uh, hemp oil or something and wipe it back and put it in my booth and leave it just the way it is. Uh, see if it sells. This is the season where people are gonna be baking 
and cooking and they may want one that they can use. I could paint the handles. I already have one in my booth that's got bread handles. I had three, so I have one left. I mean, <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is just leave this one plain like this and just clean it up and see if maybe somebody will wanna pick one of these up. My sister actually found this. She went with me to Goodwill and uh, we found quite a few things. She's an enabler. <laughs> So she's very supportive, which is good. So, but yeah, she found this good find. Okay, we found a bunch of signs. So I had the kitchen sign and the wedding sign, and then this one was $4. It's a really pretty bathroom rules. I really like it. I'm not gonna do anything to it. It's very country, so I think I'm just gonna put it in my booth. It will fit with the decor that's in there, and maybe somebody will like a lighter framed picture. And I really like the the saying in it, it's really kind of cute. And um, so we're gonna keep this just the way it is. Got a nice hanger on the back. So it's just basically a clean up, pop off the tag and it's ready to get put in. Here's another sign that I found. This is a more primitive sign. It says Nantucket, so it's from the Nantucket company. Um, but I really loved the frame on this. And this is all sewn. Um, and it looks very primitive. So I think I'm gonna try to just clean it up, take the tag off and sell it the way it is. And then if it doesn't sell, I may pop out this insert and do something different. But uh, it's got the nice, nice big hanger on the back. So again, all it is is clean up, pop the tag, and we'll see if somebody would like that for their home. Okay, I did a little switcheroo because I have some bigger pieces here behind me that you uh, couldn't see over there. But this is a big basket that I have, um, that I picked up. I got it for $6. This thing is huge. It's really big. So uh, it has a nice tie or a nice um, liner, that's what it's called, inside and it's tied. So I'm gonna pull this off. It really doesn't look that dirty. But I think I'm gonna pull it off, throw it in the wash, get it cleaned up, put it back on, and see if I can get it to fit and stay. It seems to want to um, fall down because it's kind of worn out and stretched. It looks almost like this is ripped a little bit. But I'm gonna try to get it to fit and um, once I get it cleaned and washed. And then I don't think I'm gonna do anything but clean, just kind of hose it down and clean it up and then once it dries and I put it back together with the liner, I'm gonna put it back in my booth or I'm gonna put it in my booth and I'm gonna see um, see if it sells this way. If not, I will um, paint it, do something with it, but I think it will. I mean, it's it's got a nice dark patina to it. So um, it's a nice big basket. So this would be great for pillows, blankets. Uh, what, what it's intended for is laundry, I think. so. It would be great for that. Toys, um, snacks, <laughs> I don't know, you can hide things in there. But um, yeah, you know, the, the in-laws are coming over and you got stuff all over the coffee table, just throw it in there. They'll never know. Uh, so yeah, $6 for that big guy. I think that was a really good deal. Okay, I got a few of these as well, these doilies. This is a nice big doily. This was $2, but it's a pink tag, so I got it for a dollar. It's a nice, good size. And I like these to soften up a lot of my darker colors in my booth. So if I use a lot of risers and they're dark colored, and then you put something on top of it that's dark colored, they kind of all blend together. If you use something that's lighter underneath, it makes, it separates the two and makes them both pop. So, um, I really like doing that. And again, it softens it. Doilies are back. I mean, I don't know where they ever went because I really think they're just so cute. And um, they just bring a nice softness to your decor. So here's another one. This is a nice long, long one. This I paid, this was $2 and I paid $2 for it, but totally fine. I think it was maybe two. It almost looks like it was two separate and it almost looks like somebody sewed them together, but that's fine, that's fine with me. I really like it. So yeah, that's cute. And then I got some um, scarves. This one is, 
Let's see, this one was $2. And I have some big snowmen that I'm going to make. I have a bunch of shutters. So that'll be in a future video. I mean, I made some a few years ago. I'll link it down below. But um, these would be great on those wooden snowmen. I use scrap wood snowmen. Um, and they came out really cute. So that would go great on one. And here's another one. It's like an infinity scarf. So it's just one big circle. This one was... Uh, this one was $5, but it was a pink tag, so I paid $2.50 for it. It's soft, and I think I might be able to get two scarves out of it if I cut them, and I will be able to use it um, on two different snowmen if I use them on smaller ones. Just notice there's a tag. V Fraz, F R A A S. So, made in Germany. Hopefully, it's not worth something. I don't want to feel really bad about cutting it up. Okay, uh, this one, $4. Just a cute little simplify sign. I really like these. And yeah, $4. And it's got a nice big hanger on the back. So this will go, just get cleaned up, tag taken off and put in my booth the way it is. Um, this I snagged right up. This is so cool. Uh, great time of the year to have one of these. You can put your cookbook on here. It's even big enough so you could put, like if you have an iPad, you can put your iPad on here and lean it up to look up um, recipes and have a recipe in front of you if you're making your family's favorite pumpkin pie and you don't know how to do it. So I may just leave it this color or I may paint this. I have not decided yet. You'll know because I'm going to do whatever I'm going to do to it and I'll put it in here if I do decide to paint it. So it's just gonna be a primitive piece if I do, so it'll just be black, probably distressed back and sealed. This is one of my favorites. This is a pitcher. There's no, nothing on the bottom, so there's Nothing really special about it, except that I just love the uh, crockery color and then the blue stripe down around the bottom. This was $6. It's a good size, really good, big as my head size. Um, clean, I just need to clean it up, um, take the sticker off, and then it can go in my booth just like this and somebody can enjoy it. Now I got this pan as well. It's a pie, cake pan, cookies, tarts whatever you'd like to put in there. This was $6, just a metal piece, probably. Uh, it probably came from Hobby Lobby or something like that. But again, good time of year to have this because people will be baking and bringing tasty treats and they'll wanna put them on something and make it look, you know, pretty. So I got that. The other thing, uh, this one actually my sister found as well. It's a little heart wire basket with a handle. Very cute with a little wicker bottom on them. I sell these all day long in, in my booth. Um, they're really great for, you could put potpourri in there. You could use it for eggs if you have a few chickens. Uh, this was $2. So great little find. It's very cute. Don't need to do anything to that. Just a little cleanup. I like to wipe everything down and make sure it's all clean. I got this for, this was $6. I did pay quite a bit for this guy, but it is very cute. Um, they, they used to have like, it's got little holes here, so it used to have some pegs there or something, but I think I'm going to fill those holes in, give this a paint job. I may leave the birds. I doubt it. I think I'm going to paint this and put in uh, some kind of transfer or some decoupage paper. I have a few Christmas ideas that I could put in. This is just a transfer, I think, so I think it'll come right off um, with a little bit of help. Uh, or I could just paint over it and just put my transfer or whatever I'm going to put on there. But this I thought was just so cute, and it's got the hanger on it. $6 was a bit much. I probably shouldn't have bought that, but I had a vision for it. So usually if I don't buy it, I'll sit there and brood about it when I get home and say, I really should have bought that because now I could do something with it. So I try to pick it up if it's not too crazy expensive. I try to get it anyway, just because my brain will go crazy if I don't. <laughs> so I got some really cool plates. 
These were $2. They're from Henriette. I don't know, Henriette. And um, they're rooster plates. I think probably they're in one of those wire racks that were plate holder. I did not see one of those there or I would have picked it up to put these in. But they were $2 with a pink tag and pink was 50% off. So I got three plates for a dollar. And one of them, I think, yeah, the middle one had a little bit of a chip on it, but I had to cut them open here. But they're all a little bit different. There's that one, it's like a little blue rooster. It's a little bit dirty. So there's that one, it's a little polka dotted. And that's with the big old chip in the back. But it's in the back, so I didn't see anything in the front of them, so I think they'll be okay. And then, of course, this one, hard to see with the tag, but uh, very cute. Anything chicken, I sell pretty well in my booth, and uh, I may even have one of those wire holders in my down in my craft room storage area, uh, so I may be able to dig one out and use these in that. This cool picture frame is another thing that I got. This was $6 as well. Fits two pictures in it. I thought it was very rustic and I don't think I'm gonna do anything but clean it up, take the tag off. And um, even the little stand on the back, you can hang it or you can use the little picture stand. And it takes little, I don't know, four by six uh, pictures in there. But I just thought it was very cute and somebody may wanna grab this up Weddings going on, you never know, it would be a great wedding gift. So it's in pretty good shape. So just a little cleanup and it can go right in my booth the way it is. Okay, so I also have this great big plate. This is a wall decor plate. Uh, bless this house and it's got a nice, well, uh, not a super nice hanger, but it's got a little hanger on the back. I may switch out that hanger for something a little more sturdy. Um, but this is really very primitive and people love to put these on their walls and then maybe you could put some baskets around it or uh, if you had a big enough wreath, you could put the wreath around the outside so you could still read the middle. Um, I just love it. I'm not gonna do anything but clean it up and take the tag off. I paid $10 for this. Um, obviously I loved it or I wouldn't pay that because that's ridiculous, but yeah, $10 for this guy. So hope I make my money back at least. Okay, now I have a couple marriages. So I have this set of plates. There's four of these and there's two missing and I'm gonna show you why in a minute. Um, they're very nice crackle paint and it's got a nice brown, almost like a rust, it looks like around the edges. So there's two here. And the reason why there are two missing is because I have them in this. So I got this from the Goodwill for, oh shoot, $4? I think $4. Let's see, I got two of them. So this one was six. Okay, so this one was $4. I had no tag and they priced it at $4 for me. So I had to find some plates and I found these set of four. I couldn't find anything with just two plates that I liked, but I really like these plates. They're really pretty. Um, and I, for this, Four plates, I paid $6, and then four for the holder. So, I mean, $10, but actually there's two plates taken out of this so I can subtract a little bit. So I actually didn't pay very much, and it's really cute. I love that this is brass, and then around the plates, it has that dark color, so they almost match perfectly. And again, this is a great time of year to have these because, um, you know, you have your treats and whatnot. You can put them on there, your cakes and pies. And it just makes a nice decor piece. You can also just decorate them with different, you know, different holidays or whatever you decide to do, seasons, whatever. So those are really cute. I just love the crackle on those, so. Um, okay, so another set, which I don't think I can pick up the whole thing to show you but they look like this, Sango. I don't think they're anything special, a Vanti brown made in China, um, but there was two cups, four sandwich plates and one plate and they taped everything together. So I got them all for $6 for the set, but I like the dark color on these and the sandwich plates fit really good on this 
tray on this tray to your tray. So I sprung for the plate so that I could have the sandwich plates on here and I think they fit pretty good. I wanted to get some bigger plates to put on there, but the, the bigger like um, dinner plates wouldn't fit very well. So I just decided that I would use these. My sister helped me. I think what I'm gonna have to do though is I don't like the color um, combination. So I think I may have to spray paint this a different color or something so that it matches a little bit better. I need to have it match or I'm not gonna be happy with it. The tray itself was $6. So the small two-tiered tray was four and this one was six. So um, it's a silver metal, metal one. Let me put, hopefully you guys can see that. So tilt it a little bit. So that's not too bad. I mean, four dollars and or six and six i guess yeah six and six so twelve dollars for everything and then of course the cups the one sandwich plate and the one plate i'll probably put separately or i might put it down in the free shack very light wooden bookcase needs a lot of work Let's see the, the top there on all the shelves needs some work but I really like it. And sometimes I make little cabinets like that. I have tops that I can put on them and attach them together and make a cute little primitive cabinet. So it's probably gonna have to be stained or painted anyway. So I may do some kind of marriage with that so that I can um, make a nice little primitive cabinet or a rustic cabinet with it. So that's gonna be fun to do that. What else do I have? I think that's it. That's all I have. So that's pretty cool. So you have seen all of my makeovers that I'm gonna do for this haul. Uh, most of it, is, like I said, is just clean up, wash, take tags off, things like that, get them in my booth. And so thanks for watching. I hope you saw something that you really like and it inspires you to go out and go thrifting, go save some pieces, marry them together, do what you gotta do and have fun, have fun at it. All right, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Thank you.